Hello and welcome to the wire removal tutorial part 3 for clean plate. In the previous two wire removal tutorials we've actually used the spatial, the temporal static scene and the temporal removing scene to perform adequate repairs. In this tutorial we're going to be using the clean plate method to clean up the scene just by using one static clean plate and using the wire mat which we trapped in from the previous two tutorials to perform the cleanup. So let's go into Newt now and attempt to do this. When you open the start here script for the clean plate tutorial, you should find the sequence running through. Uh, as the sequence plays, what we're going to attempt to do is remove this wire here, which runs across all the frames, and use the clean plate method to repair the scene so this wire is taken away. So if we just press stop on the timeline here, and we've got frame 1, and we're using the same technique as before, simply by tracking in the actual wire, using the same technique, using the smart track and manual keyframes. Now to actually use the clean plate repair method, we have to actually have a clean plate for the node to reference from. Now if you haven't been supplied a clean plate, and in most cases you won't be, you have to generate one yourself. Here's how to generate a clean plate. So instead of actually having a repair method going through the system and repairing the whole scene, what we're going to do is actually create a still single clean plate and use this as the information to repair the whole sequence. So what we need to do is go on to source and what we need to do here is just get ourselves a normal spatial repair and click on repair. And if we view through all wire removal, just let it catch up quickly using the algorithm. I'm just going to toggle the view on and off. So we can see we've removed the actual wire itself. That's our clean plate. So what we have to do now is actually write out this single clean plate. Now you can just do a frame hold and run it this way but a more efficient thing for memory use is just to write this out. So go ahead and write out just a single DPX of this. So now you've written that out, you clean plate. Here's one I prepared earlier. Just going to take this and put it into my box. Move this around a little bit. And what we're going to do is finally use the clean plate input and connect it to our single clean plate. Just give the algorithm a second to catch up with us. Now we should put it back on source and just to check if our track is working correctly, just view through this again. As you can see the track works fine. So we'll leave it as that. Go back to frame one. And what we need to do now is in the actual repair method is to click on clean plate. And what we do now is actually go into repair itself. And now what this is going to do now is actually use the clean plate information that we've just generated ourselves with the nuke and repair the entire sequence. I mean, I just jump to frame 20 just to check if this has been repaired. Just give the algorithm a second to catch up with us. As you can see, it's quite quick. And we've performed adequate repair. Now to check this properly, we would have to render the sequence out and view the results. So go ahead and do this. And uh, we can see exactly what results we get from just the default settings just to apply the repair with a clean plate we have just created ourselves. So if we look at the render of this, we can see that the clean plate method has performed an adequate cleanup and removed the wire completely from the shot. If we look at the before and after, we have the before on the left hand side and the result on the right hand side. We can see the actual effect that has taken place throughout the entire sequence and what a good job it has done at removing the wire. So you can see from both renders, just by applying the simple clean plate technique to this, we've actually saved ourselves a lot of time and generated a clean plate with minimum effort. So now we have actually used all four of the repair methods for wire removal. We've used the special, we've used the temporal with the static scene, we've used the temporal with a moving scene, and finally we have used the clean plate repair method.